dream has stayed because of um you know we're always thinking about residents we're always thinking about events that we can do to bring the community together when more people come together more ideas more um growth and teamwork so the more people we have the more people that's on the same level in terms of ideas and want to pursue greater things i think it will make everything so much better when we're all on one accord we've had a draper hall and the tenants association way back from from when we first moved here way back in 65 I mean, we're into 2019 now, and that's 50 odd years. I mean, when this, we had, the hall was built <coughs> a few years after the, the people moved in. Uh, it was the safest estate in the whole area. There were some estates that would have, always have trouble over here and over there, but here we were an island of tranquility. It was peaceful, not much violence. You'll always get some trouble, but not, not as much compared to other places. Uh, people in Draper, Draper House is very friendly because we don't see as much. But when you are in the lifts, those that you meet, they are very friendly, especially the old people living here. Yeah, they are very nice and yeah, they are like families to us because sometimes I'll have my kids' birthday inside. If you know the age, very noisy, but nobody will complain. So we are like a family here. It was an experimental block when they built it, so they wasn't sure exactly if it was gonna work or not. During the war, the whole area was bombed and they needed to build a lot of houses quickly, but they didn't wanna make mistakes. So it was an experimental block and I think it worked out really well. I wrote to the councils and said that I didn't like the idea of all these sky built, these high rise blocks being built because it was taking all the views away. All it was was plain open space and I could see for miles. I've been the tallest building to now to being one of the smallest buildings, although we're 25 stories high. The view from this, this property is amazing. Uh, firework night, I used, my parents would say, let's go see fireworks. I didn't want to see the fireworks. I wanted to go to the top of this building and watch every firework display, not just one, because it's such an excellent view of around London. I could see that council's firework display, then that council's firework display, and then I could see them all because a great view. This is the second roundabout that we've had since we've moved here. And we had a roundabout before they put the subways in. It was the milk, milkman and his cart, and the horse and cart. One that delivered the milk, and we had one that used to deliver bread. This was all built around us from an old off license that we used to run, my husband and myself. When I moved in at first, I didn't like it at all because so many people very noisy you can't even sleep because of the cars the horns and everything but now i'm so happy because access to everything is so easy going to the shopping center to the market in street markets when you want train buses everything is so easy so when i moved in first i didn't like it but as time goes on i love it everybody's friendly you can get get a bus, train, anywhere you like. Places I go when it's raining is to the bingo hall and have a game of bingo, which soon I won't be able to do because they're knocking it down. My favorite moment, meeting a group of children downstairs for Sporting Draper. So the parks, uh, things to do. I have an auntie and two cousins that lives at Browning Estate, which is literally just over there. <laughs> so literally it's like 10, 12 minutes. Um, it's a similar building like this. But unfortunately they don't have the togetherness that we have here in Draper because unfortunately they took away their facility, their youth club facility. 
to they don't have it anymore which is very sad because there's a lot of young people like yourself um, mm -hmm. that is bored at home and they don't have anything to do. Oh, I have had fun, yes, quite a lot of fun. My boss charged me 10 shillings a week. And then when I was told by a friend to ask for some extra money because I wasn't being paid enough, so I was brave enough to ask my boss for some extra money, but then he said, I can give you 10 shillings, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to put the rent up. So that wasn't a very good idea. I don't think there's something to change. Everything around here is good. What really motivated me to, uh, you know, become or, or, or be a part of our community, because I understood that it wasn't just impacting our community, but it was impacting communities outside. Uh, my, my life has been a good life. Um, I've done many different things. I've enjoyed it. I've, I've especially enjoyed living here. Three, two, one, cut! cut.